No prizes for guessing this is a WSI model because it's a truck in their standard box design. And this model is a Volvo FH4 with a Dutch packed on container trailer. It's all in the colours of Nick Dijkstra of Holland. Also included is a 40 foot shipping container in the colours of the Dutch company Yukon. Well I say it's a 40 foot container but it's not really 40 foot because it would never fit in the box. No, actually, it's just a scale model of a 40 foot container, and I thought it was worth making that clear. For the assembly of this model, we'll put it in its intended display configuration. And the first thing to do is to join up the tractor and the trailer, and as usual, they clip together. We can then fit the locking clips which support the container. And quite a few of these are supplied to enable containers of different sizes to be displayed. There are no instructions to tell you which part goes where, but it's easy enough to work out something that works. OK, the trailer's prepared and now we get the giant hand crane to lift up the big container. And it's a precision lifting operation to carefully locate the container on the locking points. Once it is located properly, it's a secure fit. The underside of the Volvo does look typically very detailed for a WSI model, and that includes different tyres on the driven and non-driven axles. The cab is an impressive piece of modelling, and it looks particularly good in a Dijkstra colour scheme and there's a realistic number plate. At the top the cab has a roof light, but it's not see-through. The wheels on this truck have a particularly nice finish, and at the back the lights have plastic lenses. The underside of the trailer is really nicely detailed. There's plenty of hoses and a spare wheel carrier too. And looking on top of the trailer, the structure is modelled well. There's some tiny details, including very small graphics on the extending frame. And there are more excellent graphics on the metal shipping container. They're very nicely applied and follow the corrugations in the container sides precisely. At the back, the detailing and decoration of the doors is a work of art. So once again we're out on the Cranes Etc test track, and we find the review model is just a little bit sticky at rolling along. And if we pick it up we find that one of the front wheels doesn't turn quite so freely. This is a 6x2 chassis and the front two axles have linked steering, but they don't turn much so the model struggles to steer in a curve. Moving on to the cab and it does tilt to quite a wide angle if you want it. And if we take a look underneath, there's a well detailed Volvo engine. Once you're all done looking, then it's easy enough to close the cab back up. Moving on to the trailer, and it's another very nicely engineered trailer model from WSI. The wheels all roll well, and if we use the giant hand crane again, we see there's working suspension on each of the axles. Moving towards the front, there's a couple of landing legs with screw down pads. And they're nicely done with no unsightly screw threads. As shown here, the trailer is in its short mode, but it extends at the front and also in the middle. But wait, there's more, because it also extends at the back. So, all in all, this is a very flexible trailer that can handle different sizes of container. This Volvo certainly continues the high standard of truck models by WSI. Each part of the model is high quality and the colour scheme is really good. It's also a nicely functional model with the trailer offering realistic options. So overall it's a very nice commercial truck model that's good enough to be outstanding. Mm -hmm. 